Hi folks, thanks for joining me. Today we're looking at the V-Zone Graffiti 220 watt dual 18650 box mod. This was kindly sent to me by the folks at Hip Hop Juice, so thank you very much for sending me this over for review. Let's crack on. And that was the V-Zone Graffiti 220 box mod. Styling and feel, let's get straight to the point. Okay, feel, I'm gonna start with feel because this is a really heavy mod. 222 grams it come up at when I put it on my old scales, which is about 20 grams more than the Aegis Legend, which in my opinion is one of the heaviest mods I've ever used. And I use that day to day. So I notice the weight of this straight away. 220 grams, 222 grams, and it feels substantial. The whole thing is metal. And these remove this removable panel not majorly thick, but they're quite weighty and it does clip in real nice. So it is a heavy feeling and heavy looking mod, it even looks bulky. And it doesn't feel the best in the hand. Um, it doesn't really bother me. I'm not, I'm not gonna not use it because it doesn't feel perfect and ergonomic in the hand, but there's not much of a curve going on this side. Whether you're a finger firer or a thumb firer, it's not the most comfortable. You can feel all the curves and crevices and that kind of thing. So if you're after something that's gonna be beautifully comfortable and smooth in the hand, then this probably isn't the mod for you. But with regards to everything else to do with the feel, it feels all right, it feels not too bad. Everything clips on nice, the battery compartment. Although I'm not a big fan of this kind of thing, these tabs I'm not too keen on because I tend to rip them off. Apart from that, it all clips in very well, all works very well. The, the buttons, the firing buttons and the up and down buttons all click very nicely. They, they don't wobble, they're not loose. Everything screws on nice. There's no gap between the 510 and the mod or whatever tank you're using. All very, very nice. The look itself <laughs> is not really my kind of thing. Um, they've obviously got other styles as well that I'll put in, you've probably seen already on the video, the other images they put on these side panels. Not not my cup of tea at all. But if you like that kind of thing, then fair play to you. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I kind of said about batteries, dual 18650 batteries. You can charge it on the device, but I strongly recommend you don't. Get yourself a little charger for your two batteries. Just charge them up. Two two batteries, If you, as long as you're not vaping at 200 watts all day. If you're vaping anything below 80, 100 watts, the battery should last you all day pretty much, unless you're banging out 50 ml of juice a day, then yeah, you might need to carry a couple of spares with you. Um, but the performance with those batteries is fine. It does perform very well. I compare this to my most used Dual 18650, which is the Aegis Legend that I've already mentioned. Battery life on this, and also the way it delivers the power, very comparable to that. So I would say it's on par with kind of most of the other Dual 18650s that are on the market. Display and visibility. Now, it's a very simple display, really. In sunlight, in direct sunlight, or even just when you're outdoors, 
um, it, you can't see it very well, which is a shame because in this light, it's nice and bright and bold and clear. But as soon as you're out in the daylight, I struggle to see it. And in direct sunlight, you've got absolutely no hope. So that's one con for this device. Just for some reason, you just can't see it in just a normal daylight. It could be a cloudy day, like it has been today, for example. Cloudy day, and I'm, I'm struggling to see it. I'm covering it up, that kind of thing. Bit of a con. Menu and functions. Well, it's all on the, it's all on the one screen. You just three clicks, three clicks with fire button, and you can just scroll through and adjust it. And there are a lot of options there. The one option that I've made the use of is the curve option. Now, I haven't done the user set curve where you can ramp it up at the start and all that kind of jazz, but I have swi uh, switched between normal and the hard mode. I found if when I'm building um, my usual kind of style build, which is a, a dual call at about 0.35, so fairly high for a dual call build, um, there is a slight ramp up time on most dual 18650s, but with the hard option on this, I avoid that slow ramp up and it gets straight to the point. And I'll give you a little bus just to show what I was like. I don't know how well you can see that. If it will zoom, if it will focus. 0.35, 75.5 watts. No ramp up time when I've got that setting on hard. Now I would show, now show it on normal, but now those cores are warm, it kind of defeats the object. But Performance wise, it's fine. So the menu and the functions within that menu work really well. Durability, I think this is a pretty tough mod. It's not obviously not waterproof, probably not shockproof. If you drop it, there's a few things that are gonna happen. Yes, the battery cover is probably gonna fall off. Yes, your batteries might fly out. But the main thing is you're gonna bruise your foot. It is so heavy and so weighty, it really is going to injure someone or something. Um, but for me, I quite like it. I quite like a big, sturdy, heavy device. Uh, and so this is probably going to go into my rotation. I'll take this out of me. It's just the panels, just really not my thing. My kids have already asked questions. <laughs> Apart from that, it's all, it's all well and good. So what are my final thoughts on the V-Zone Graffiti mod? Well, let's face it, it's a fairly standard dual 18650 mod. It doesn't have anything fancy to it. It has the usual curve, bypass, temperature control, all that kind of jazz in the menu and settings. The screen's fairly average. The look of it is fairly square and standard. The, the, the panels are a nice touch if you're into that kind of thing. And I have every faith in the mod as a whole in performing. So if you're looking for a new mod, you like this kind of style, and you just want something that's gonna last all day with a kind of average size build in it, then this is probably right up your street. If you're looking for something a bit fancy, a bit quirky, a bit unique or unusual or modern, then this probably isn't the right one for you. I hope that was helpful, guys. If it was, then hit the like button or subscribe if you fancy it and click that little bell and you'll get notified when all my latest videos come out. I'm Flat Cat Vapor. Thanks for watching.